Hey guys, welcome to Pixivu. In this tutorial, you will create this watercolor mockup. And, at the end of the tutorial, you will be able to apply the complete effect again on any photo, in only a few seconds. Let's go. Step 1. Create the watercolor effect. Let's start by creating a new document. Make sure that, both width and height, are 2500 and 1500 pixels, with 300 resolution. Click Create. Let's import our image from, File, Place Embedded. Double click the image to import. Resize it to fill the canvas, then press Enter. Grab the Rectangle Selection tool, and select the entire canvas. With your layer selected, press Ctrl plus J, to take what is selected to a new layer. Delete both layers. Right-click layer 1, then, convert to Smart Object. Rename it, Base. Press Ctrl plus J 5 times, to make 5 copies of it. Hide all layers, and keep Base Copy layer visible. With this layer selected, go to File. Stylize, then choose Emboss. Make Emboss values. 135 degree, with 4 pixels height, and 100% amount. Since we are working with smart objects, all filters will be applied as smart filters. Now, let's make it a little bit sharper. As you can see, the sharpen filter is now added, over the emboss filter. Now, from filter menu, choose filter gallery. Now click on, Cut out from the artistic folder. Change values to 8, 4, and 1. Then click OK. Rename it to anything you want. Select Base Copy 2 layer and unhide it. Go to Filter Gallery and apply the cutout filter to it. But in here, change levels to 7. Click OK. Change Blend Mode to Overlay. As you can see, once you change the Blend Mode to Overlay, you will get a final output with more details. Now, select Base Copy 3. Drag it in between the two other layers. Change its Blend Mode to Color. This will increase the tone a little bit. Let's rename both layers. Now, select layer 4, and unhide it. Again, go to Filter Gallery. And from Stylize folder, choose Glowing Edges. Keep your values like mine. I need to make the black color background invisible and keep only the glowing edges. Screen blend mode is the best choice here, because it keeps the brighter color, and hides the black color. This would add some outlines, and give us more details to our effect. Now, let's add some other details, with this final layer. Unhide it, then, go to filter, other, and choose High Pass. Keep Radius 2, then click OK. Change Blend Mode to Overlay. As you can see, High Pass Filter with Overlay, always adds some sharpening and details. Great! Select all layers, then, drag them on the group icon, to group them. Name the group. That's it. Let's move to the next step. Step 2. Add border and adjustments. Let's open the border image. Double click to open it. 
Now, we want to select the white border only. Since border has only a one color, which is white. The best selection tool here, should be the color range. With your layer selected, go to, select, and choose color range. Change select option to sampled color. With the eyedropper, click on the border to select it. Decrease fuzziness, to exclude the sky and grass from our selection. In mask, black means invisible, and white means visible. Let's make a mask from our selection. As you can see, everything inside the mask with a black color, is now invisible. But, since the clouds and sun has the same white color, they still exist. So, we will remove them manually. Now, hold the Alt key, then click over the mask thumbnail, to open it. Now, we are inside the mask. Let's grab a black brush, and start painting over what we want to hide. All this black area, will be invisible, after we exit from the mask. Now, hold ALT again, then click on the mask, to exit from it. As you see, all black areas inside the mask, is now hidden. After converting to smart object, drag and drop it into your main document. Now, press CTRL plus T, then, CTRL plus zero to find the layer edges. Adjust size and position as seen. Great. Let's add the texture. With the top layer selected, let's import our texture image. Adjust size and position. Change blend mode to multiply. Reduce opacity a little bit. Let's add levels, to increase the contrast a little bit. Move both sliders, to the start and the end of the histogram. That's fine. Group both layers, and name it adjustments. Final step. Testing. Now, let's test our mock-up. Right-click the base layer, and choose, Edit Content. Now, we are inside the smart object. Let's import the image we want. Adjust size and position, then press Enter. Now, press Ctrl plus S, to update the smart object. Get back to your main document. That's it. Once you update a single smart object, all other smart objects will be updated. And all filters will be applied to them. Please like the video and share it with your friends. And leave a comment below if you need anything.